Hello, good morning everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, welcome to Carter's Country Kitchen. It's a new it's a new show that we're trying to get started because we have a lot of people that ask us about our cooking, about things that we're making. So we just figured we would just make <clears throat> make a um, a YouTube channel and make videos and episodes. So in this episode I'm making homemade hot sauce, which I have made several homemade hot sauces in the past. Uh, really simple, not very hard to do. Not very hard to do. If you grow your own peppers, you can use pretty much any pepper that you want to um, to make your hot sauce. It, as long as you have peppers that you can tolerate and you can stand, then that's what you should do. You should make them with whatever you can stand. Um, you know, not too hot if you don't like hot sauce sauce. But in my house, we like hot sauce, really hot sauce. We like mild hot sauce also because I like mild, but the majority of people in my family like really, really hot hot sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and, and blend this. Um, these peppers have been sitting for about four weeks, which is actually long. The longer you let the pepper sit, the, um, the more potent they are. So I actually wanted to let these peppers sit longer. Normally, you only have to let peppers sit about seven days, and then you're able to you're able to um, go ahead and just blend. But I actually wanted this to be a more potent hot sauce, so I let them ferment longer. Um, all you need for fermenting is your peppers, maybe a quarter of a pound of peppers. You need water for as much hot sauce as you would like to make. You need vinegar. And I like to use a combination of apple cider vinegar and regular white vinegar. And then I add salt. I like my hot sauce to have flavor, so you can add any amount of seasonings you want. You can put onion powder, garlic powder, garlic salt, um, onion salt. You can put basil, you can put oregano, anything you want in your hot sauce to actually make it taste how you want it to taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using the Instant Pot Blender, which is like the best blender ever. I'm using that to puree my hot sauce. So you'll be able to see how it's mixing um, don't worry about the color unless you want to add color in. This one, I'm actually going to leave the original color because I want to be able to distinguish the difference between the hot sauces. So I'm going to leave them the exact same color, but um, all I do is press puree, I press two, and I just let it go. If you don't do it like that, it's going to get everywhere. So you want to be extra careful when you're working. And so you've already cut, you have to cut your peppers into small pieces. I would cut my peppers into really tiny pieces, de-seed everything before you actually put it into the brown. So I'm just letting this blend. I know it looks a little white. Don't worry, once it settles down, that color won't be there any longer. You'll just have the hot sauce for your choice. Um, I have made thicker hot sauce and thinner hot sauces. It just depends on your preference. So you let this blend for like one or two minutes. And when you feel like it's actually okay to move on, the next trick and the secret to making really great hot sauce and the right te the right texture is at the zap end A lot of people don't use that. Some people use just regular uh, flour. They use uh, cornstarch and those items are okay if you're cooking your hot sauce. But we are not cooking this hot sauce. So the best thing for us is to use zap end and a little goes a long way. You only need um, to use about a teaspoon at a time. Until you can do the Okay, so I think this is blending up pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. Let it cool. Let it calm down for a second. Okay, so once it's come down, you want to just take the lid off. And guys, please make sure that you have gloves on and a mask because this stuff is strong. This hot sauce mixture is very strong. So you want to make sure that you have that on. So, you know, it really, I wouldn't do too much so far, but I do one. one tea or a teaspoon of the zathium gum and then I just puree mix again. Ooh, that was pretty fast. 
Because you really just only need to mix this in. There's no need, you don't need the heat, anything like that. But just stay mix it in. There you go, you want it on low. Don't put it on too high. Last time I did that, I had a catastrophe in my kitchen. Okay, that's all you need. Quick stir, take the lid off. Please have your mask on or you will not be able to breathe. Don't put your, um, don't put any of the peppers down your sink. And then turn your hot water on. We learned our lesson with that last time. So I just wanted to give you guys some tips so you don't go through the same thing that we went through. She's so gonna add enough zaffron gum in and toast it as thick as you want. If you end up adding too much zaffron gum in, you actually can use water or just more vinegar to, to calm it down. Okay, quick mix. You don't want to overmix this when it has the zaffron gum in it. The last time we did that, that was not a good thing. <laughs> It just didn't work out that well. But if you guys have any questions, you know, you need help with your hot sauce, just feel free to, to message in the comments. We don't mind helping helping people out, especially when you're, um, a lot of people are starting to grow their own things now. And we have just gotten to the point where we're just growing a lot of our own vegetables. We have a really long growing season right now. So we're able to grow our own vegetables and we just had an overabundance of peppers this year and we wanted to do something with them. So we just decided make hot sauce. Okay, so, um, wow, that really did not go how I wanted it to. Let's try it again. Three, two times, nice and slow. You never want to mix it too fast while it's thin. <laughs> Believe me, it gets all over the kitchen. But I want to thank you guys for um, tuning in to our brand new, our brand new um, channel, our brand new cooking channel. And we are so grateful to have you on. If you have any tips, any comments, any questions about anything that we make on our channel, just inbox us um, right underneath the chat and the comments. We have to help you guys out. And the channel is called Carter's Country Cooking. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to take your spoon, dip it into the hot sauce. If it is not, it should be thick on the back of your spoon. Okay, and it's going to take a little bit of time for the zathium gum to actually settle. Let's see if I can get this closer to you guys so you can actually see. It's almost there. We like our hot sauce a little bit thicker because after time, um, just letting it settle. I'm gonna add um, a half a teaspoon more. I mean, look, less is better, guys, when you're doing, when you are messing around with sand gum because you'll think that it's not enough and so you just keep adding and then it ends up being way too much. And for anybody that just jumped onto the video, this is what you need. You need that thing gum. It works. That's it works. You need it for hot sauce. If you make your own ketchup, if you make your own um, anything you make that you want to thicken, puddings, anything, it works for it. And you, a little goes a long way. This bag was probably about nine dollars at our um, I'm trying to, at Joe Trader store. I think that's what it's, I think it's Joe Trader. Um, it was like eight or nine dollars, but I'm sure. If you order it online, it probably could be a tad bit cheaper. And this is the best blender ever. I'm not anywhere by far. I'm a representative of instant, instant pots or instant ovens, but I'm telling you, this mixer is the best. You can actually, you can cook in it. You can put smoothies, puree, you can make milks, you can crush ice, you can make frozen desserts, you can make soups. It actually heats, you can cook right into, right in the, um, the blender container, the blender, the glass, what the heck is the glass jar, or, you know. So now I see that my Dothium gum has made my mixture a lot thicker, it's looking a lot better. Nice and thick. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it up for a little bit longer, but you don't wanna leave it on too long because it will um, put a little bit too much in your product. Like, yeah, I thought I was saying you won't be able to use it for a while, so. 
pretty much a good blend. I did about two and a half tablespoons or teaspoons of that Zap M gum. That's all you need in there. I'm probably gonna add a little bit of color because I really, I already have a hot sauce that, that's, that is that color. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and just add just a little bit of hot sauce into um, into this. Oops. You have to take the lid off. Or not, I'm hot, not hot sauce, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put a little bit of, um, of color. I like to see a little bit more color than what's right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Anytime you wanna add color into, into your hot sauce, you have to blend. A little bit of patience goes a long way when you're making your hot sauce, guys. A little bit of patience. There you go. All you have to do is just mix it up. It's not easy to mix it up where you already have it in the blender. And I just want to add just a tad bit of color in it. Now the color will settle after a couple of days, so it won't be about the same thing. Your color is actually going to settle. The color will settle. Um, like I said, you don't want to overblend this. But it actually puts a little bit too much air into the um, into the hot sauce. Really easy. If you guys have any questions? Just let us know. So I'm just going to let it. I'm going to let it calm down. But this is how you make your hot sauce. And after a while, you won't have all this air. It'll just be hot sauce. So if you have any questions, any comments, um, you know, just email us or message us or post below. All right, thank you for watching Carter's Country Kitchen, homemade hot sauce. Bye, see you next time.